Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast. This is the podcast where we have digital discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, sometimes sports. I have a contestant from season 19 of Big Brother. I'm with Ramses Soto. Ramses, welcome yes. to Pop Turnative. What's up? Thanks for having me. <laughs> no problem. A couple weeks ago, we had the power couple of uh, Marlena, Elena, yes. Elena and uh, Mark Jansen, who you are friends with from uh, season Yes, 19. my homies, my homies. <laughs> and no, it just seemed like I, I talked to her about it. I mean, yeah, it's a competition, but it's like there were some really cool bonds in that house. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're put in there together. So, I mean, some people, like, it, it's weird because you walk into the house and there's a lot of people who have a strategy and it'll be like, oh, I'm going to go in there and deceive everybody. But how are you going to do that? Because you're put in this house and you are with real people and you make real connections and you talk about your life stories and you get to bond with each other. So like a lot of relationships happen after the afterwards and like, especially like with Mark and Elaine, I love those guys. You know what I mean? So we're going to be friends. <laughs> it must've been like, like talk, talk about how it came to be you being a big brother, your expectations like before and after, did you watch the show before? Oh, for sure. I'm a huge fan of Big Brother. Oh, really? Okay. Um, it's, it's my favorite show, like, in the world. So it's it's really surreal to even have been through that situation because, like, out of the thousands of people who applied, like, how do you know that I was going to get chosen? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, out of all the people. So it's really cool. But um, applying and stuff, I knew that the age limit was 21 years old, and I've been watching it since I was about – 19 or 18 yeah. so i literally as soon as i turned 21 i made my video i submitted it and i also went to an open casting call in chicago with oh, me wow. and my best friend yeah we went down there we went in an open call because as a super fan i'm like i'm gonna go all out <laughs> i'm gonna fly i'm gonna do my best and i just put it out to the world and it happened and i they chose me which is insane still to this day <laughs> what were so that's interesting then because yeah. um I've had a lot of like reality um, contestants and people from like you know the Bachelorette, or the Bachelor on mm -hmm. my show, and Big Brother, um, Amazing Race as well. And not you're the first one that's tell, told me like that you like were a huge fan. Like some people, yeah, they watch yeah, it here really? and there. Yeah. So I find that I find that interesting. So my my next question is, were your was it completely different? to be on it than to watch it or was it what you expected it's not what i expected <laughs> at all i went in there like at knowing the show i went in there like i'm gonna have such an advantage because i know how it works like i know what to expect and you go in there and like i said it's real people real stories you bond with them and it just completely throws you for a loop and actually living it 24 7 every single second of the day it's absolutely completely different and it's nothing that you can ever imagine unless you've actually been through it that's really cool yeah like, I, cause, yeah because that that is funny did they kind of because i watched it here and there i didn't watch like uh -huh. the, um but like do, do you think that they wanted you to kind of have that like because because regardless it's a competition but everyone has like a character everyone has a persona uh -huh. right? did they do uh -huh. you think they wanted your persona to be kind of like the big brother fan that's like on the I show think... and then during like the interviews like this wasn't what i thought it was i watch the show <laughs> all the time like that that's pretty funny i mean probably but what's surprising about this season there are a lot of super fans this season because big brothers was... yes yeah Big Brother is one of those shows that has like a lot of really like super fans. They always include like one or two super fans every season. And this season there was me. Megan was a super fan. Um, Josh, who won, was a super fan, which he did not tell us that in the house, which is very surprising. Um, I found out that he was a super fan after I left. But um, yeah, he hustled yeah. you. He hustled you guys. Yeah, he did. He did. He, and he did good. He made it all the way to the end and won. But um, yeah, a lot of super fans were in it in this season, and it's actually really surprising. It's crazy that in a season with so many super fans, Paul, the veteran, was still in final two, which is like, ugh. but it's cool. It's <laughs> um. But another thing too, I, I I talked about it with Elena and Mark too. Is mm -hmm. there's so many, I know a lot of people that watch Big Brother, but what I find interesting is the different type of people that watch it. 
It's yes. not just like it's not just one like demographic. You know demographic. I mean? <laughs> it's randomest people. Like I can't tell you how many randomest people that I would never expect in yeah. the world to ever watch Big Brother just come up to me randomly on the street. I'm like, oh my god, you're on Big Brother, right? And I'm like, yeah. And I'm just it's just like the randomest person I would never expect to watch Big Brother. And it's like really cool to see people who are part of not my actual BB fan who I was in the house with, but and the whole world BB fan because I'm a fan too. You know what I mean? So it's really cool to be able to meet all these people who already know me. So absolutely. And what I find funny is I work at a hockey rink and one of our like uh, superintendents and uh, he, he's like, Oh man, I got to order. Like he's, he's telling me, he's like, I've never done this before. I've never like pre-ordered a pizza four hours in advance. And I was like, why? What's going on tonight? Big Brother 19 finale, man. Yes, and I'm just like, I, yes. didn't, like, I didn't even say, I was like, oh, wow. You know what I mean? Like, I yeah, that's how it is me in my house. Like, I'm the one who's like organizing. I'm like, Big Brother finale's tonight. We have to get ready. Like, I get the day off of work. Like, <laughs> I'm there to watch it. Like, nothing can disturb me that day. So, so essentially, really cool see, essentially man. like, a dream has been fulfilled. Yeah. And it's insane. <laughs> and at 20, at 21 years old, yeah. like literally my dream, like, cause you know, like, <laughs> and I always tell these people this, this, but it's like, and I think it's really corny, but it's so true that I went, I just applied. Like I'm a, I was a huge fan of it. And I was like, if I have one dream, it'll be world peace. And then for me to be on Big Brother. <laughs> and like, I'm not lying to you. Like, I will go into my classes and people will be like, oh, like, what are your goals? And I'm like, um, world peace and being on Big Brother one day. And it happened. I just like put it out to the world. So it's really cool that like my one of my dreams, like my dream came true. And I'm only 21 years old, which is insane. That so. is awesome. And like I said, yeah. um, you know, you had some friends in the house, Elena and Mark, and Elena yeah. says she misses you. I miss her so much. I text her all the time. We're just like, we need to make a reunion. We need a Rams Lane a reunion because we had a secret thing going on. Yeah, yeah. Speaking yeah. of that, she wanted to know. Um, she wanted me to talk to you about that deal that you had, that yeah. final two deal since day one. We had a day one final two deal because obviously Big Brother's a show. There's so much happening, especially with this season. So much drama. So much happening. And they have to compile the best moments into a show. So they can't show, they just can't possibly show everything. So me and Elena, day one, we, as we drop our bags on the bed, when we found a room, we were like, dude, I vibe with you so much. Let's just try to like keep in contact with each other. Like it doesn't have to be like an actual like alliance or anything, but let's help each other out. And throughout the show, ever, ever since, um, until like my eviction, we always like would go into like, we have like five minute powwows and we would talk to each other be like, hey, dude, what's going on with your side of the house? This is what's going on with my <laughs> side of the house. You know what I mean? Trying to like help each other out. And if I made it to final two, if I made it to final three with Elena, I would take her because like that was my homie in there. Absolutely. What did yeah. you think of Mark? A lot of Elena talk. What, what about Mark? Yes, I love Mark. <laughs> I love him. It's funny because I don't know. I always got really good vibes from Mark and I knew I didn't really have to worry about him because he seemed really genuine. He didn't seem like someone who was like backstabbing or scheming. And for me, it just made sense for me to be in the house with him. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we never really talked, <laughs> which actually really funny. I was thinking about this. I remember one day because I never really felt the need to talk game with Mark because I felt like we were on the same page without talking, yeah, you know? Absolutely. So I remember one day everyone was freaking out because like a twist happened and everyone was freaking out, like running into rooms. And then me and Mark, were like up out there and mark was like um what what happened i was like i was like he was like Rams, do you do you need to talk to me too because i was asking people to talk and i was like no nah, mark we're good and he was like what does that mean Rams? he's already on the same page i don't know and i was like mark we're good i trust you dude i trust you it's okay <laughs> it was funny no. Just those random BB moments that you remember you know now the one thing i wanted to talk to you about um too is um Pop alternative always has kind of a little bit of like a social media uh, like aspect to the show um cuz that's like my background yeah. and what i find really interesting is you know you go on you go on big brother you go on a reality show and you know it's such a brand creator and brand enhancer i mean it you're is. up to like 40,000 twitter followers um just because of the show you know what i mean and it's just like like who would have thought <laughs> you know what i mean and i, I wouldn't have thought yeah. so and i'm sure like your instagram is pretty pretty up there as well yeah it's crazy um so it's like how are you dealing with that man like how are you dealing with like all the things that came with it um yeah because 
it's kind of tough too because you know I've had like uh, uh, I've I've talked to like you know Mark about it and you you know you're just trying to do as many appearances as you can while mm-hmm. like you know um, while it's hot you know what I mean while while it's yeah. current you know. Um, but you're yeah. always going to have that. So, I mean, it's there for you. The door is open. What are you going to kind of do? You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I've been trying to keep my books open for any opportunities that, like, get thrown to my way. You know what I mean? I've been doing a lot of, um, um, like, meeting with people. I've been working with, like, a lot of, like, um, places that I think are very good, like, um, charity-wise. Yeah. Like, a lot of, like, um, Love Your Melon. I've become an influencer for Love, Love Your Melon, which I love their statement and I love what they stand for, which is they try to get a hat to every children in the U.S. who is struggling with cancer, which is something that I really feel strongly for. And I've been trying to work with them as well. Um, we I've been actually meeting up with Kevin from Big Brother 2, and we've been um, fighting, raising funds to donate to different charities and different like um, um, situations that are going on, like with um, hurricane fund relief and stuff like that. So I've been trying to use it as much as I can to try to help out because when do you get this opportunity? You oh, know what absolutely. I mean? When do you get this kind of platform to be able to help people? So, I, no, that's really good. And it, it, did you did you expect to like? Did you? Well, I, obviously you did because you watch the show all the time. Like, did you expect <laughs> that you were gonna kind of establish a big fan base and like? <laughs> No, and that's what's weird because people tell me, like, as a fan, you should have known that you were going to have fans afterwards. But I was just like, I'm because Big Brother fans are very undercover. So you don't really know how many fans are out there until you get out and you experience it firsthand. Like, oh, my God, so many people watch Big Brother. I did not expect this, you know. So I came out and I was like, oh, I'm just going to have, like, a few fans, like, people that recognize me. And just to see this overflow of so much, like, like, so much, like, love from all these people from all over the world it's like all over the u.s or have that have watched big brother it's like really insane it's just like wow guys like this is awesome it's Thanks. so funny you're probably gonna go to like uh, have you been recognized in michigan yet oh dude constantly must, is, it, is there ever a point where you're kind of like oh or like no right like i'm sure it's no because it's kind of like no way yeah no. exactly it's like when does this ever happen ever happened to like people like well for me it's like really like weird still it's like what the heck like, i was on big brother like now like i have fans and stuff like this like like this doesn't happen to everyone i feel like and i i love to meet people like i'm a social per- butterfly yeah. that's why they put me in that show you know what i mean yeah absolutely. so i love so when was people that part of it do you me. think that because you were a social butterfly they wanted you on like did they oh yeah did they, sure. did they did they tell you like why they chose you like does that ever happen no, no because they choose people that they they obviously there's a like long process with any show that you're going to do there's going to be a long process to it and they for big brother they want to get to know you and who you are so they don't need to like ask me do you think you're more a social butterfly do you think you're more like an introvert it's like they will know because the big brother casting people they are there to spot how your personality is going to be outside and inside the house they're trying to look for genuine people that are going to be themselves when they put they you put them in there and they knew i was gonna go in there and be bubbly be smiley be myself so oh that's really good um but yeah yeah, no i find it interesting too because and i kind of agree but there's a lot of um you know uh season two stranger things just came out Um, oh my god i have not watched it and i'm so mad dude did you watch season one Yes, of so course. I've been busy. Like, 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 I know. I've been so busy. I've been so busy, but I'm getting to. But it. getting back <laughs> to the whole thing, because I want your opinion on it. Um, like the mm-hmm. whole like autograph thing and like getting pictures taken. Like, I don't know if you've mm-hmm. heard about it with like a couple of the cast members, but they're getting like stalked. Like the kids are getting kind of like you know, like all these grown ups are going and trying to find where these kids are. Because what I find interesting is, Ramsey, you're young too. You're 21, right? They're a lot yeah. younger than you. But it's just the whole concept of basically they're essentially um, they're they're kids. And Finn Wolfhart, who plays Mike, was criticized mm-hmm. for refusing to do autographs um, outside his hotel. Um, <laughs> But I think it's kind of it. That's interesting because for a sense, you're like, no, you know, like I mean, it's your fans. You're there for the fans. You know what I mean? But there's gonna yeah. be a line where, that's gonna get crossed, right? Where yeah. they're just going to their hotel. They're tired. They're kids. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. Yeah. It, it gets situations like there's situations like sometimes like it gets overboard. But luckily for me, like I haven't had like any like crazy situations like that. Mostly like it's it's mostly just like the 
like a bunch of like people who like Big Brother and they just like want to talk to me about Big Brother because they're super psyched about it. Like I haven't been with any like super weird situations like that, but I think that's like weird. Like people would. I mean, the only yeah. things like look, I I my, I have a hockey background too. I a lot of, like yeah. I have a lot of hockey players on on the podcast, and you know they talk about it and they're saying, listen, I will sign autographs like like all the time. The only two areas um, that I won't and I agree with are like if I'm at home. You know what I mean? Yeah. And stuff like that. That that gets too much. Or if I'm at yeah. like a restaurant, you know, with my parents and I'm sitting Eating, down yeah. at the restaurant. You know what I mean? Are those the ground rules yeah. for you probably? See, honestly, <laughs> you don't I, have any ground I don't rules. Mind it. I don't have ground rules. I mean, uh, don't show up to my house. I feel like that would be so like <laughs> I don't know if it's creepy or like flattered probably mostly creepy but <laughs> but actually like yesterday like no lie yesterday i was at a restaurant and someone recognized me and they came up to me and they we started chatting about big brother like i don't mind that yeah. like i think that's really cool i rather you come up to me as opposed to what happens a lot is taking pictures of me from far away and be like oh my god it's Roxy soto no they won't even say anything. Like you see them staring at you for a while, and then they take a picture from far away, from far away, and they walk away. It's like, dude, come say hi to me. Like yeah. I like meeting you guys. I like <laughs> talking to you. Like just say hi. I want to talk BB with you. Oh, so, <laughs> well, I think we'll uh, wrap up the Ramses. Thank you so much. I love your Thanks. energy, man. I love your passion. That's Thanks. awesome. Dude. <laughs> Thank you. It's uh, Thank you, it's man. really cool. And uh, yeah, what where could people follow you on social media? Yeah, you can follow me on Twitter at the BB Homie One, oh, and then on was that your Twitter? Yeah. Was that your handle before? <laughs> before yes, it, it was before because I had a fan page. My Twitter, I I had two Twitters. My actual Twitter, like with my friends and stuff. My other one that was like my Big Brother Twitter because yeah. I kept spamming my regular Twitter with too much BB information. So I was just like, I'll make my own fan page, and that's the one that I'm using now because I'm just like, oh my beef, my BB um fans are out there, so like. Oh, man. I'll keep that one. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, and Instagram, I got it's different name. It's Rambam13. Rambam. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Two different ones. I'm trying to get them together to be the same one. I just haven't figured that awesome. out yet. So. Awesome. Well, Raz, it's been a pleasure, man. And hopefully we can have Likewise. you back on soon. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Well, this has been Pop Turnative. You can catch previous episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube and on our website, popturnative.com. Until next time, this is Ramsey's and PD Beats signing off. Have a great week, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.